Well, people are always asked us, what are you going to do after God's Not Dead? Number one independent movie of the year, one of the highest Christian Christian movies of all time. It created a movement across the world. How, what are you going to follow up with that? For us, God's Not Dead established the existence of God, of who he, who he was. And um, do you believe was the next step uh, in, in somebody's faith is the power of the cross. What do you believe? Is it relevant in today's society? How is it relevant in our life right now, today? And so that was really the launching pad of creating this script um, off of that. We're so excited about the cast of Do You Believe? I mean, from everybody from Sybil Shepherd, Lee Majors, uh, that's kind of cool. Sean Astin, Academy Award winner Mira Servino, Alexa Penny Vega, you have Delroy Lindo, Ted McGinley, um, one of my favorites, Andrea Logan White, happens to be my wife. Uh, there's just so many great people in this movie, and we're just excited that they all did an amazing performances and, and, uh, and excited to roll the film out. We make films primarily for the church to uplift and inspire, to bring people to higher levels of insight to who God is and the purpose that he has for their lives through these movies. And so, yes, we're excited that it goes and encourages believers, but I think we're going to find, just like God's Not Dead, how it, it, it went across the borders um, all over the world, that do you believe is going to do the same thing? In our world, we live in an ethically diverse you know, planet, and so I think our stories have to be that way as well. Um, Hollywood used to make movies every blue moon, you know, for the flyover states. They'd make one there and they'd say, here, you know, we're kind of serving up here or there. Um, but there is a market for this. There's a hunger for it. People come out and when they buy a ticket, they cast their vote and they say, we want to see more of this kind of content. We have found that. I mean, obviously there's a ton of, of believers in this, in this country um, and all over the world. Um, and it, it, it was the most untapped market, I think, uh, just because nobody really, you know, it wasn't cool to make films for, you know, for the faith audience. But for us, God, we believe God says, use your gifts and your talents, be the best that you can be at whatever it is that you do. And we make movies. And so we just want to make them great. And we feel like, you know, they're certainly getting better and better. And, uh, and we're excited that, that people are really responding. There's a, no, there's a joke that says the Mennonites make the Mormons look like a pack of hell's angels. So I saw one movie in a theater the first 18 years of my life. I was not, you know, I didn't see a lot of movies. I saw some Christian movies um, on those Christian movie nights, Sunday night movies. And I think that's, it, the irony is that I came out here really to pursue, um, you know, I, I, like you said, I, I ended up on a sitcom uh, six months after I was here. Um, so I wasn't in the faith world at all, but the Lord really... Um, during my slower times, he said, do what you know. And what I knew was this audience. And, um, and I had always wanted to make movies. And so uh, we, you know, scraped together $87,000 between the three of, four, there was four, um, four of us, and made a little movie, and it did really well. And then we made another movie. And, and ultimately, we were start, starting and stopping because we didn't have distribution. And so Michael Scott, Russell Wolf, Elizabeth Travis, and myself really felt the need to have a, a Christian faith-based distributor that could put this content out on a regular basis and a consistent basis, and that we could be partners with these producers that are all over making these you know, one-off movies and have a place for them to come and, and release these films. And Pure Flix today, uh, nine years later, has almost released about 100 movies. We asked the pastors what it is that they wanted to see. They said, can you make a movie about, about what it is that Christians believe and why they believe it? And so that's really the genesis of where God's Not Dead came out of. And then we brought that to our writers. Um, we had known the Newsboys uh, and the title God's Not Dead was just the perfect title. Um, and the story kind of developed around that. And it was exciting to see as, you know, when it first hit, when the trailer was released, in October of that year, um, it became the number one shared trailer on Facebook between five and 10 million shares in a week. So it was just, uh, it was an incredible ride. I think it's so important to serve the audience, to serve the church, because we're making these movies first and foremost for the church. And then from there, the movies can go out. Um, obviously, God's Not Dead 
expanded way beyond the church. I believe that Do You Believe will do the same thing. It will expand beyond. But first and foremost, we want to serve the church. Married to an actress. Uh, she's married to an actor. Both of us said we would never do that. Uh, but for whatever reason, we did. Um, and uh, it's exciting to work with my wife. Um, she's a great actress. Um, I'm thankful to have three children. And uh, life is a balance. You find it, you know, you, you work at it to make a balance on your marriage, on, on being a, f a parent, on being, you know, a movie maker. And then, it, you know, there's no doubt about it. It always seems to go off kilt a little bit. And then that's the point, I think, that's so important to bring it back to balance. And so we try to live a balanced life. And, uh, and I'm just I'm, I'm so thankful that the Lord has put me in the position, position he has. I am. I'm on all that social media stuff. The uh, Facebook.com backslash David A. R. White or Twitter backslash David A. R. White or YouTube, uh, and you can just uh, you could follow me on there. And um, and there's a lot of kind of fun stuff that that I put on there uh, to keep the fans and and uh, and everybody abreast with what I'm doing. Excellent. No, I think you you know the thing is is that um, I believe that that God has put inside of us, all of us, a dream, a desire, a, a purpose for living. And I think it's so important to listen to that dream. And one of, the, one of the ways that you know that if you're on the right track is that if that dream is bigger than you. And Pure Flix was bigger than us. Obviously, God's Not Dead was bigger than us. Do you believe we, we think will be bigger than us? Um, it has already been. And if you are doing that and you give it to the Lord, it's amazing to see how he will use those dreams in a really unique and powerful way.